him. I want to watch the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack him a gob. It's time for the only news that matters. And David Lee Roth has continued taking jabs at Wolfgang Van Halen, apparently in response to the later claim that the singer was the reason Van Halen's final album, A Different Kind of Truth, is not available on streaming sites. Last October, Wolfgang told Cyrus XM's uh, Eddie Trunk that Van Halen's 2012 EP LP was the band's only recording with uh, Wolfgang on it. And it does not appear on streaming platforms because of some people involved who do not like the record. He said the contract run out on putting it on streaming services. So we've been working on getting it back, but there are some people involved who do not like the record and are not making it easy to get it back up. You know, ask if these people who are making it difficult were involved in the record. Uh, Wolfgang said, yeah, when uh, Ho said he trunk prompt might the persons uh, commonly be known by three initials and apparently uh, referring to Roth. And Wolfgang replied, probably. I mean, yeah, you can put it together. You know, I hate to say it, but people will think I'm making stuff up, but it's like, man, I'd love to have the record back up there, but Roth doesn't like it, and he's not working with us to get it back up. So I hope people will like, I I hope people that do like it have a physical copy of it, like me, because I bought it when it first came out on vinyl, and I have the original, and I understand there's a lot of bootlegs out there that sound really bad. But anyway, as I continue, a week after blasting Wolfgang for allegedly throwing out some of Roth's invited guests at a couple of the concerts during Van Halen's final tour, Dave has shared a new YouTube whacked out video titled Family Therapy, in which he starts off mocking an, ap- uh, an apology, saying, You know, I upset some people and that he loves his old rock band and Mrs. Van Halen, the late Eddie Van Halen, and was Wolfgang's father. And then he proceeded to hold a mock therapy session between Wolfgang and a therapist in which Wolfgang complains that he has been unable to get any streams for his LP, presumably referring to a different kind of truth. Uh, I don't know, man. To me, it sounded like he was talking about WVH, the mammoth thing. But anyway, uh, with the therapist telling the former Van Halen bassist that his album was DOA, Dead on Arrival, uh, KTC, Kick to the Curb, and a complete FL, Face Bomb. The therapist tells Wolfgang, son, commercially speaking, you got your ass handed to you. Uh, Roth then proceeds to imply that he and Van Halen's drummer, Alex Van Halen, did not want to spend a lot of money on attorney fees to negotiate a bigger deal or better deal with the record companies and streaming platforms for an album that is not one of the band's finest moments. Uh, he says, do you remember Leon Speaks? Spinks? How about Larry Holmes? Well, these were the last couple of Muhammad Ali's fights, and nobody wants to remember them because they were no fun. And your albums with Van Halen are a lot like those last fights. So there you go. Uh, Dave bashing on Wolfgang, and yeah, I guess the way uh, my co-host on the Rock and Metal Combat podcast, Ian Wadzilla Wadley, read it the same way. I read it as... Dave making fun of uh, Mammoth. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just focusing on different kind of truth. Where, I don't know. I mean, if you all caught it, those that are rock and metal combat podcast fans, you saw our live stream where we talked all about this and how Dave 
believes, you know, Dave. I mean, Ian believes Dave. And I kind of think, well, maybe Dave is right, but I have my doubts. You know, you know, where, where Dave's talking about how Wolfgang had people thrown out and all this stuff, because I think this is coming off of, out of left field, because what has Wolfgang actually done for Dave to be so pissed at him? I wish Dave would focus more on Sammy Hagar. That's way more funnier and honest. I mean, what has Wolfgang done? Seriously, what? That, and another, you know, there was a person on the live stream that left a comment saying, Wolfgang has been bashing Daily Wild ever since Van Halen ended. Now, I'm not saying this person's wrong, but I, I what has he said? What has he said? I mean, the only thing I can think of was Dave was difficult with the Van Halen reunion with Joe Satriani and Jason Newstead. And he kind of alluded to that. But, you know, the way that Wolfgang alluded to that, it kind of looked like, yeah, we're talking about Dave here. All right. Well, it's true. You know, I mean, we all know it's true that Dave was difficult about it. All right. Then the next thing he said was different kind of truth. The reason different kind of truth is not streaming anymore is because a certain person doesn't like it. And then Eddie Trunk made him admit it was Dave. And said, yeah, because of Dave, you know, this ain't streaming. You know, we'd like to get it back up, but Dave doesn't like it. So what's wrong about that? Dave actually admits it, saying that, you know, the last Van Halen album, the one that you were on, pretty much sucked. He's admitting it. So what else has he said? And again, you know, put a link or something so I can read it because... I may have missed it. I'm not saying Wolfgang hasn't, but the, uh, the part one that I put up uh, of Dave bashing Wolfie, you know, a lot of people were agreeing, me, agreeing with me, but then there was a lot of people that were saying stuff like Wolfgang is spoiled, this and that. Now, I respect anybody's opinions, and I really love it when you leave it in the comments below. As long as you're respectful, you can totally disagree with me, and that's cool. You know what I mean? We do... Let's agree to disagree. I don't see how he's a spoiled brat. I don't see it, but you do. So let's respect each other on that part. But I just don't get it. I don't get why Dave is going after this guy so much. And to me, man, reading that, it sounds like he's talking about Mammoth VH. You know, you owe, you owe a lot of money to the record company for all the money they put in when he was saying stuff like that. It sounds like Mammoth WVH to me. But it seems like Blabbermouth and my co-host Ian Wadley both think that uh, it's him talking about different kind of truth. Now, since I hate Sammy and I always talk about how much I love Dave, uh, people think I'm like this Dave Tard that, you know, oh, you're just going to defend Dave on everything, blah, blah. No, man. You know, I've said it many times. He's the, He was the greatest frontman I've ever seen in my life in the 80s. Now he's like a creepy uncle. I've said that already many times. You know, a sheep of Dave would never admit that. And I think he's extremely cringy now in interviews where he was awesome in interviews in the in the 80s. They were a lot of fun, you know. Now they're like, what the hell is he talking about? It's so left field and I don't find it funny, but he sure does because he laughs at it a lot. And I think what he's doing here with Wolfgang is lame. It's just lame to me. I I think Dave, you know, I mean, the older he gets, you know, the more he pisses me off. I mean, a lot of people are like that. You know, the older Paul, Paul Stanley gets and D. Snyder. You know, all these people that I loved back in the day, they're just cringy and talk a lot of garbage now. And uh, Dave is really going crazy with uh, this Wolfie bashing and, you know, a little bit of Sammy. I... I want more Sammy and less Wolfie Bash and Dave. You know, go after Sammy Agar. He deserves it way more because that guy's always constantly talking crap about you and trying to make you look bad. I don't think Wolfgang is doing that. You know, I mean, but maybe some of you out there have know stuff I don't know and would add a link to your comment going, read what Wolfie said here. And I'll believe it, man. So help me out, everybody. Am I wrong? If I am, set me straight.
And what do you all think about this whole mess? Leave it in the comments below. I would love to know. And uh, yeah. And uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe to the video. And ring that little notification bell. I would love that. Oh, and like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs>